Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Bearded Dev, and this is going to be part two of Common Table Expressions. Uh, we've already been through what is a CTE, how to write a CTE, and the benefits. Um, so if you haven't checked that video out, go back and check out part one. I'm um, just going to show these uh, slides up on the screen here just to refresh. One thing we're going to be looking at in this video is CTEs within store procedures. Um, here's some benefits of CTEs. Again, if you haven't checked out the first video, go back and check that out. What we're going to be looking at today, our task, is we're going to be calculating a bonus for our workers. So very exciting stuff. We're going to jump over to SQL Server Management Studio and have a look at that now. So we've been given a task to create a store procedure that will calculate the bonus for our workers. Uh, I've just got here saved a query, um, just of a sort of description that I always put at the top of my store procedures. Um, so initially we'll start off as usual just by looking at our underlying table, our year to dates table, and then we're going to be discussing what we're going to be doing. So we've got this table here, we've got our employee ID, the pay year, the pay week, the hours and the rate. And um, we're going to be putting together a store procedure that will calculate the bonus for workers. Um, so within our company, the bonus is paid quarterly. So we need to handle that as well. Um, so the user wants to be able to put in the pay year and the quarter, and that's going to calculate the bonus for the workers. Main purpose of this video is going to be looking at CTEs in more detail. We're going to be using a nested CTE within this store procedure. Um, so let's let's kick it off. So uh, we'll just put in a brief description here. So calculates bonus for workers based on year and quarter. Uh, author is myself, bearded dev, and the creation date. Uh, well, today is the first of April. Happy April Fool's Day, everybody! And we're going to be creating a store procedure. Um, so we'll create proc. Uh, what should we call it? Uh, worker bonus. Worker bonus. And we'll put a P at the beginning just to indicate that's a store procedure. So just to indicate what type of object it is. Uh, now the parameters we want to pass into this store procedure are going to be the year. Uh, the year is going to be integer, and we're also going to have the quarter. Um, so quarter will just be, as we all know, there's only only possible the four quarters. Um, so we'll give that a tiny int. So the first problem we're going to come to, we're looking at a table that shows weekly pay for employees. They want to be able to pass in quarter. So if it's quarter one, uh, we usually have 52. We're going to base this on weeks. So we usually have 52 uh, tax weeks in a year. Some years we have 53. Um, so 53 is going to be the maximum pay week that could possibly be stored in this table. Um, so first of all, we're going to have to handle them passing quarter in. So what we're going to be doing, uh, we're going to declare a couple of variables here. Uh, so we're going to have min week, uh, and that'll just be a tiny int as well. And we'll also have max week, and that'll be a tiny int, because that number shouldn't, well, it can't really rise above 53. So we're going to handle what is passed in. So quarter, you can pass in 1 to 4. So we're going to say... If our quarter equals one, uh, begin, and then we're going to set these variables. So we're going to set the minimum week as one, and we're going to set our max week as 13. 13. Uh, and I'll just copy these out, and um, we'll just change the numbers in there. So quarter two. Uh, it's going to be 14 to 26. This is going to be 15 until 39. 
no not 15 sorry 27 and this is going to be 40 and our maximum of 53 so we'll handle that there so if the if quarter equals 1 we're looking at weeks 1 to 13 2 14 to 26 and so on so we've handled one of our parameters there that's passed in quarter year we're also going to use but we don't need to handle that at this time so the first thing we're going to want to narrow down is the weeks within that quarter so we're going to use a CTE and remember when we have a CTE within our query um, unless it's at right at the top we need to terminate the expression or the statement above with the semicolon uh, so we're going to work with with um, I will just call this CTE for now and I'll come back to that name I'm going to select MPID pay year pay week hours and rate from our year to date table where pay year is going to equal our parameter that's just called year and pay week will be greater than or equal to at min week and pay week will be less than or equal to max week so we've thrown together our first CTE there that's going to take those parameters that are passed in quarter it's going to handle within the store procedure itself and calculate the minimum and maximum weeks and that's going to return the results within those periods I'm just going to comment out the create statement at the moment I'll just change these to declares uh, we'll comment out this as and if I just set these parameters so we'll set at year equals 2016 and set at quarter equals 1 So I've just executed that guys, um, I'm getting in different results, um, what I've noticed here I haven't quite set the quarters correctly, so some of the dangers of using copy and paste, so if I execute that now, I should have the correct amount of results. So we've got five workers, 13 weeks, I'll just order this by MPID pay week. So this is just some test, uh, in testing I'm doing as I'm going along, it's quite important to do that, just check you're working out. Um, if you get to the end and you've written the whole query and something goes wrong, it's harder to debug, you might as well just do it as you go along. Um, so these result sets look pretty good at the moment so within this CTE we're going to calculate our weekly pay um, we're not just going to use it for a where clause that's a bit pointless we don't need to just do a where clause we could have done that with a query so use of a CTE there wouldn't benefit benefit us so one thing we're going to ha add in here uh, we're going to take out these columns and we're just going to have hours multiplied by rate as week pay and we're going to rename this CTE to week pay so I'll change this in the select as well like I say I am creating a store procedure but for the moment I've just set the set the parameters myself um, we'll change we'll get rid of the order by we don't exactly need that at the moment yep so we've got our weeks 
uh, we've got our employee IDs and our week pay. Now what we need to do then with this result set is we're going to move on to the next stage and we need to calculate the total employee pay during this quarter, this period that we, we're passing in. So what we're going to do here is use a nested CTE and how we do that it's just a comma so we're going to comma we don't use the word with anymore um, we just give this this a name um, so we're going to call this one total pay and again we use the keyword as and we're going to open brackets and now we're going to refer back to our week pay CTE our temporary result set for week pay so we're going to select employee ID and what we're going to do now is sum the week pay from week pay I should have called those different names in hindsight just to be clearer in fact I will change those I'll change this one to weekly pay so we're going to sum weekly pay so our columns called different from our result set and then we're going to group that by our employee ID so we want to know the total for each employee ID and then if we run a select from total pay now we can see we've got an error and that's because we haven't given the column a name within our total pay CTE so that's quite important if you ever get these errors it's because maybe you've calculated a column that you haven't given a name um, so we're going to just call this total underscore pay and there we've got our employees we've got five employees and the total pay for that quarter let's see if we could run a select here to say select from week pay yes so we could still refer back to other seats CTEs within the query that is another benefit with CTE so we could see how the data is actually changing but at the moment we just want to work with total pay so we can see here we've got our query our employee ID and our total pay now we are working on a 5% bonus per quarter so what we need to do now with this result set is we want to work out 5% of their total pay for that quarter so how we're going to do that is we're going to return our employee ID we're going to return our total pay but what we're going to we're also going to use our total pay to calculate the bonus so what we're going to do is open brackets we're going to do total pay divided by 100 which will give us 1% and then we're going to take that result set and multiply it by 5 and that is going to give us our bonus figure so if we look at that now we can see we've got some figures um, that are going to four or five decimal places there so we're going to cast that result as a decimal because we only want it to two decimal places uh, in currency we only work with two decimal places let's run that again and now we're down to two decimal places so let's turn that into a store procedure that is all we want to return from the store procedure we don't need total pay anymore we've just left that there just to check that these figures look about correct so we're going to take out total pay and now we're going to turn this into our store procedure so let's take out the, the declare those are our, our parameters that are going to be passed in we don't want to set our parameters they have to be passed in um, we've got our min week our maxes just handling different quarters um, I've only got some data in here for quarter one and a few weeks for quarter two at the moment so we could test this by running those as well uh, and we'll wrap this within a beginning end block normally I'd put a 
try catching here as well to roll back but because we, well we're not actually updating anything it's just to select we don't could do it but we're not going to do it in this in this video it's it's not sort of uh, something we're going to look at today so if I execute that now that should create our store procedure let's copy the name of the store procedure let's go to a new query window and to test this we're going to execute our store procedure we're going to pass in year as 2016 and we're also going to pass in our quarter as one and if I execute that now we've got our employee IDs returned and the bonus figures if I change this quarter to two I would expect the numbers to change drastically yes because we've only got a few weeks within our table I'll just demonstrate that so if I just run a select from our table a year to date table and we'll look at where pay week is greater than 13 as we can see we haven't got many results in there um, if I was to execute this store procedure for quarter three wouldn't get any results if I was to change it to 2017 and run it for one we wouldn't get any results normally what I'd do is probably just throw a bit more future data in there just to test this out um, so we've covered quite a bit into today's video we've created a store procedure uh, we've looked at nested CTEs how we can keep continuing working with that result set um, and that's that's us come to the end I believe so just running over the benefits again guys of CTEs they improve readability if we'd have done that with subqueries um, or derived tables we would have had to nest them and they're not as readable as CTEs it's just a comma separated list of CTEs we can run the internal query separately can be nested as we've seen in this video uh, and something that is extremely useful for CTEs is when we use them recursively that's outside the scope of this video I'm going to be doing a separate video on that once again if you didn't check out part one where we initially started looking at CTEs and what we can do with them uh, go back and check that out I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please do give the video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel click that notification button you have to click that to be made aware of any new videos that are uploaded feel free to post anything in the comments down below or you can email me at asbeardeddev at gmail.com thanks for watching